Hello and welcome to another video and I am so excited because this is my Stilettos Out Convention Doll Haul Part 1. So first off, the reason we're doing this in parts is because I've gotten some of my dolls but not all of my dolls. I'm still waiting on my centerpiece uh, dolls as well as the Tula Bell doll that I um, ordered. So I have like three more dolls coming. Uh, so I decided I could split it up. It's a lot of dolls anyway, so it still works. But in this video, I'm just kind of gonna show off my dolls and my first impression. I'm not unboxing anything in this episode. Like each doll is gonna get its own unboxing episode, episode video. Um, so this is just kind of like giving my first impressions, looking at the dolls and um, talking about my feelings because what's really weird is my feelings have shifted so much with so many of these dolls. Like there's my feel first impression feelings, which is kind of what you all got um, in my little vlog series, if you watch that. And now since then, I've just been seeing like people share their photos of the dolls or stock images. And then my feelings kind of swayed a bit. But now that I have my dolls in hand, my feelings have swayed again. So this is like part three of my feelings. But yeah, I am excited, so let's get right into it. So what we're gonna be looking at today is we're gonna be looking at my Style Lab dolls that I'm keeping, as well as the fashions that go with them and the um, sales, room ex sales room convention collection that I bought. So we're actually gonna be looking at six dolls because I've got three from the Style Lab and three from the main collection. So let's just start with the Style Lab because that's what's closest to me. First up, I'm gonna talk about Ayumi, who I am so excited about. Also, in case you didn't watch my um, video where I talked about, well, my vlog series, I ended up buying the entire Style Lab, but I ended up splitting it with two of my friends. But they, uh, I split the dolls with them and um, like XOXO, XOXO.plastic got the Build-A-Doll Violin, but I got the fashions. So I have the Criminal Kitty outfit, but I'll show that off in a second. But this is a Yumi, which if you watch my predictions videos, just constantly referencing my own old videos. But if you watch that video, then um, you know a Yumi was one of the dolls that I really wanted to see at the convention in the Style Lab specifically, and she was there. She is beautiful. I really love my Ayumi. I think she has a nice screening. Her hair looks nice. Um, but let's talk about this Style Lab packaging. This is insane. It's like safety deposit. It's back here. You can see the ring light. Um, so it's like safety deposit boxes. It's like metallic. What does that say? The 2024 Style Lab. Um, and it's got like this grid feature. And on the top, it's a vault. And of course, I'll show this in the unboxing, but I'll show it now just for fun. Um, how all these dolls, you go in, and at the bottom, they each have a little safe here, which I believe can be removed, but you can also open. Oop. You can open, and the pieces have already been taken out of here, because like I said, I already collected all the Build-A-Doll pieces, but that's where the Build-A-Doll pieces would have been. I do not remember what piece the body of Ayumi came with, but like in my full review, I'll be sure to like have that documented. Oh my gosh, I can't get this closed now. There we go. So yeah, I thought that was a really cool way that they did that. But this packaging is absolutely amazing, which I, I assumed that the Style Lab packaging was gonna be different based off of um, past convention videos I saw. But I didn't think it would be like this deluxe. And look, it's got like the shattered glass thing. And they're a heist group, so it's giving like breaking. And it's giving me um, Casa, Casa de Papelas. Like, ugh, so good. So, so good. I really like this style lab, the boxing and everything. But now let's get back to Ayumi. Um, she was one of my favorites when I was there. I was obsessed with her. And then some people, uh, their reviews or photos, I'm not sure if it was their doll or how they angled it, but she wasn't looking that exciting. And I was like, I still holding out hope that she's amazing. And I do think she's incredible. I am so happy with her, so in love with her. Honestly, she could be up there for one of my favorite dolls from the entire convention. So beautiful. 
Also, I found out that her screening is very similar to a very popular Ayumi from the past. It was like kind of like a boudoir collection. She was like in lingerie with blonde hair and bangs and she had like lavender makeup. I'll put a photo up, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. But yeah, she's absolutely beautiful. And then I plan on, oh, also what's cool, I didn't know. First off, Style Lab dolls do not come with stands, which is something I did not know when I was buying the dolls. It is listed, it is on me for not reading. Um, but I have come to find that out since uh, having the dolls. But they do come with grass pans. They they already have their regular hands, but the grass pans and as well as articulated ankle uh, flat feet. So that's a Yumi and she is gonna come with this fashion, which was originally paired with the Naja. And it is, you can't even see much of it because this purple coat just takes up all the space, but you can see the shoes and everything. And again, that same packaging, so beautiful. I'm so excited to get Ayumi dressed in this. She's gonna look so good in it. So yeah, very, very, very excited for that. Then the next doll we're gonna talk about is Reina. So this is a doll that my opinion has changed on so much. So originally when I first got, saw Reyna in the Style Lab, I was really excited about her and I thought she was great. But then as time has gone on from the convention, like just looking at the stock photo and stuff, I have become not excited by Reyna to the point I was like, do I still wanna keep her? I was like, we'll wait till I get her in person. But I wasn't excited by her anymore. But then once I saw her in person, she is so much prettier in person. Her stock photos are no, give her no justice. Like, look at her. She's so beautiful. And also her skin, like in the photos, it looks so much lighter, but in person, there's definitely like a warmth to it, which I think you can see pretty well here. Like I'm paler than she is for sure. But this Reyna cosplaying as Poppy, I really, really love this doll. I think she's super exciting and I'm so happy I got her. Like I am so, so happy I have her. So I guess I'll just scoot a Yumi over, or I'll just put a Yumi in the fashion in the back. Cause we still have one more Style Lab doll, so I have to make room for her. But yeah, I love Reyna. I'm really excited for her. Um, it seems like the, like based off what I've seen online, the opinions on her really go back and forth about how people, whether people like her or not. Um, but I really love her and I'm really excited for her. And oh, also I saw that she seems to be a reference to a Poppy Big Eyes, I believe it was like a Twiggy Poppy or that one and a Style Lab Poppy from like one of the Poppy Style Labs. They say that she like kind of looks like that doll. So either way, I think she looks great. The last doll I got from the Style Lab was Erin Solston and her her hair curls are a little crazy i've seen most people's it's a little crazy but they use the earrings and it goes perfectly into shape so i'm not too worried about it but she is still beautiful i still love her i actually probably like her a bit more in person um the weird lights i don't know the way the skin and hair was working in the style lab room it was still good but i think she looks the colors look even better all together here i think she looks absolutely great oh i realized i didn't show the fashion farina it's okay we'll jump there in a second but yeah she is just absolutely beautiful. Again, the hair curls are a little crazy, but as soon as I get those put where we want them, she is gonna be incredible because that face is so good. Now, let me grab the fashion. So this is the fashion that is suggested to go with Reyna and I do plan to put Reyna in it. I don't know if Reyna's gonna be staying in it. That's another thing. Um, my idea of like how I'm gonna be mixing and matching outfits for the entire uh, doll like haul that I got has been all over the place. I'm still gonna display them, review them the way I mentioned in my day three video of the convention. So I'm still gonna put this with Reyna, but I don't know if it's gonna stay on the Reyna. But it's a really cool outfit. Very like kind of like 60s poppy looking with the flowers and stuff. Very pretty, and again, it'll look great on Poppy. So I'll just put that right back there. So actually, no, that's not the end of our Style Lab because also I just have it in a bag because it's in pieces. We also have the Build-A-Doll fashion, which as you can see, I literally just have sitting to the side. 
Um, so here we have the build a doll fashion and we have like the sequin bodysuit, um, the arm bag, the skirt that is so cool. So we have like all the pieces to that. I believe these are the gloves, like the arm gloves. Uh, you know, earrings, bracelets, all that stuff. And then we also have all of these that come together to build the Dasha, the Anik uh, Android doll to build her heart. So I'll probably do that in the same video I do the Criminal Kitty fashion look. And again, I said I'm gonna be showing that on Aaron, which I do plan to do. So that'll be really exciting. And also I love this necklace, so beautiful. So I'm excited to put that whole doll together. That's gonna be really exciting. I still in love with that outfit. It's still probably my favorite outfit of the entire Style Lab by far. But that is it for the Style Lab. That is my entire haul of what I'll be um, keeping from the Style Lab. All the rest again are being split between me and two of my friends, but I'm very excited to get these dolls open. But now we go to the convention collection. So let me go ahead and grab the first doll, which I've had a lot of back and forth feelings on. Okay, so first up is Lethal Rose Vanessa Perrin. This box is so heavy. So she comes in the typical Stilettos Out box. Um, same one we saw with Dasha. So this is her still in her box, of course. And I would like to say her eyes, the sample doll that we saw, which you can see in the videos and photos, um, she had some really bad eye wonk, but I don't know if this is the same deal or if mine's just different, but I feel a lot better about my Vanessa. I don't think her eyes are perfect, but I think she looks so much better. The light hitting it that way is not helping though. But I think she's much prettier, especially in person. Very beautiful. And I love her red lips and everything. So I think she's actually really pretty. Um, Originally, I was thinking, like, I love this outfit. This is probably one of my favorite outfits from the convention. I know I just said that about the Criminal Kitty look, but I also really loved this one. Literally, uh, it was designed by Jesse, and he said he was going for, like, the femme fatale Bond, like, villain girl. So I think he executed that so well, and it's so fun, like, with this, like, tuxedo skirt that's, like, removable. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I'm excited to see, like, her dagger and everything she comes with. So originally I was thinking I might have to get her eyes repainted um, just because like the one on show was so off. But I do think I'm okay with this one. Like I don't feel the need to get her repainted anymore. I think she's very beautiful. Again, the, the glare right now on the left eye is really making it look crazy. But in person, it, it really is not bad at all. I really think she's actually pretty. So really it's not that bad at all. And I do really love her. I'm excited to get her out, um, mess with her hair because I think she has such a fun hairstyle. But yeah, so beautiful. Definitely a uh, nice little kind of like villain character from the convention. So this next doll that I'm gonna be bringing up, I still don't even know how I feel and we're gonna talk it out here on camera. So the next doll is Agent Sugar North, Constance Madsen. Wow, that lipstick looks insanely bright on camera. It is not that bright in person. Like it's a bold red, but not it, like highlighter red, like it's coming off. So here she is. The colors are not coming off right. Like here, her hair looks like highlighter yellow, but in person it's more of kind of like a golden yellow. I don't know why it's reading so weird on camera. Like maybe I need to change the lighting. Like, should I make it warmer? I guess that's better. Like, I definitely, in person now, things look weird. I don't know. Um, the colors are not reading properly for this doll for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. But she is uh, the kind of like, she was one of the secret agents. She comes with the gun. She has the gloves with the cigarette ring and everything. This was such a fun really 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 fun fashion so i knew i was gonna get this doll no matter what because i love the fashion so much um and then when i saw her in person i was like i really like her this is gonna be my first east 59th doll i love her we're keeping her but then as time's gone as time's gone on since the convention i kind of decided 
maybe I'm not gonna keep her, I'm just gonna keep the fashion. Like, I don't think I wanna keep Constant Madison. Like, I don't feel like a crazy draw towards her. So I'm gonna get her clothing and her gloves and stuff like that. Um, and then I'll either like sell or trade the doll nude. But now that I've seen her in person, she's actually quite beautiful. Like she's really, really pretty the way they did her makeup, the cut crease and everything. And again, the hair is reading kind of a yellowish green here on camera, but in person it's more of like a golden yellow. It's not a very natural blonde, but it's like a golden yellow still. It's not this kind of like greenish color it's coming off. And her lips also are not that bright. They Again, they are red, but they're not highlighter red. Um, so I'm actually not sure what I'm if I'm going to be keeping this uh, Constant Madison or not. Um, definitely the outfit. I'm in love with the outfit, everything about it. This kind of like off-white fur that is so soft to touch. I love this perfectly fitted gown. Very beautiful. Um, and then again, like I said, I love her accessories, which I haven't even seen in person yet. I'm keeping the accessories here until I open the dolls. I'm like keeping myself together, but I'm actually not sure about this doll. I don't know. What do y'all think? She is really pretty. I just don't know. Like, I think what throws me off is that she's a, she feels like a different art style than my other dolls. Um, because most of my dolls are new face and fashion royalty, or I'd say all of them. Um, I do have Meteor, technically. But even Meteor, I feel like their art style, like the way the makeup's done and the way their faces are drawn, they kind of read the same world. But East 59th are just done in like, almost like pin up -y makeup, which is really pretty. I like it. It's just, it doesn't read the same as, you know, these dolls. Like, for example, let's grab Poppy. Not Poppy, oh my gosh, Reyna. Because they're both like short, blonde haired females. Like, do you see what I mean? The makeup is just coming from two different worlds to me. So I have to decide like, do I want to have another art style in my collection? Or do I want to keep to this art style, but just steal the fashion? So that's kind of like the battle I'm having with myself. I'm still on the fence about it. And also, no, we're not going to talk about that. We'll get to that in another video. But yeah, I just don't know if, um, if I'm going to keep her or not. She is really pretty though. Like, I feel like I'd be so happy if I just started collecting and this was my first doll. I would happily collect this art style. It's just like, I have a, I have a nice curated collection kind of coming together and she just doesn't quite fit. I don't know, but she's beautiful. So that is Constance Madison. I can scoot all the dolls over a bit. Oh, it's not working that well. There we go. Um, so last, but definitely not least. In fact, I'd say I saved the best for last. Um, I have a doll that I have not been confused about since the moment I saw her. I knew how I felt about her then and it has stayed consistent this entire time. So let me grab her real quick. Now, if you know me, you already know um, who I'm about to bring up, and that is Alejandra Luna. Ugh, the convention had an Alejandra Luna. I love her so much. Here she is. This is La Sombra, Alejandra Luna. She is something special. She is such a standout. Um, she was very polarizing. People either kind of at the convention loved her or hated her, but it seems like the online reaction to this doll is people are loving her. Like everybody seems to be loving this doll. Um, I haven't even really seen anybody like restyle her. Like everybody has kept her in her original fashion, which is so interesting because I've already seen so many of the other dolls restyled, but wow, she is just something so special. I'm not sure if she's the my favorite in my entire collection, my entire collection, out of the entire um, Stilettos Out collection. But I do think she is a high up contender before opening the dolls. Like she is just, wow, she is good. She is so, so, so good. I really love her. I'm so excited for her. And it's exciting because it's a new screening for Alejandra Luna. Um, I know Billion Dollar and Beauty and Batty obviously had the same screening. And then Varsity was a slightly different screening. Like I think it was the same screening, maybe just a, like color swaps or something, but I swear I felt like Varsity had something different with her lips. But this is a very different screening for Alejandra Luna. 
So I'm very excited that I have her. I am so happy I was able to attend the convention specifically to continue my Alejandra Luna collection. I'm still only missing one at this point, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful doll. So cool, I cannot wait to get her out. And based off of um, my day three video, which by the way, if this is your first time you're seeing my video, um, I like vlogged the entire convention um, each day, a day one, day two, and day three. And then at the end of my day three video, I commented down below all the dolls that I was getting from the collection and I asked everybody to give a thumbs up to the doll that they want to see reviewed first. And right now Alejandra Luna is pretty far ahead. So she will be the first one I unbox. And what's exciting is that I'm recording this on November 19th and my birthday is Thursday, November 21st. And so I'm going to unbox Alejandra Luna on my birthday. So she's gonna be like my birthday doll. So I am very excited about that, to be able to open a brand new doll. And not just that, my favorite character on my birthday. How perfect, I'm really excited about it. So yeah, that is, I'll put her right here. That is my entire, uh, all the dolls that I purchased from the conventions style lab. And uh, let me like try to see if I can put the outfits here. Is that gonna look crazy? You can't see anything at all. Yeah, you literally can't see them. Um, but that is literally, I still did it anyway. That is the three dolls from the Style Lab, three dolls from the convention collection that I purchased. And then I have, how many more dolls do I have? I have the giveaway dolls as well as the centerpiece dolls that I purchased. Um, I purchased all the centerpieces except for the poppy. Um, but yeah, so I still have a haul part two coming. So what I'm gonna do now for fun is rank these dolls. Um, based off of like looking at just these six, how I would rank them. Um, and I did not prepare for this, so I'm not really sure. I'll put them in an order. So I actually think in first place, I am going to put Ayumi. I'm gonna keep her here in first place. Um, she's just the one that I am so excited for. And I know that's probably surprising. I'm sure y'all thought Alejandra Luna, but this fashion, this Ayumi, and the fact that I've wanted an Ayumi for so long now, not for so long, actually, funnily enough, when I was doing my series, um, I like do a lot of like looking back at older Integrity Toys collections. And I found the Ayumi face sculpt and found out about it through one of my series where I looked at um, past con uh, conventions and I looked at Fashion Fairy Tale and I saw the Fashion Fairy Tale Ayumi, which was like based off of Mulan. And that's when I found that face sculpt and I was like, wow, it's a really beautiful face sculpt. And then I was kind of more aware of her since then. So since then I've been wanting an Ayumi and I finally got one. And I think with this fashion, which is such a cool fashion, um, I love this fashion so much. With that Ayumi, I think it is going to be insane. Um, then in second place, that is where I'm going to put Alejandra Luna right there. So yeah, Alejandra Luna is my second favorite at this moment without them being unboxed. Um, third place, I think I'm actually surprisingly going to put Reyna at this moment. Um, I really was falling out of love with this doll, like just her stock photos and stuff like that. But I've kind of re-fallen in love with her, like big time um, since unboxing this doll literally today. So she's kind of leaning here. Um, so her with her original suggested fashion. Then in second, well, fourth place, this one is really hard, but I think I'm gonna have to do Erin with the criminal kitty outfit, um, like the sequin bodysuit. I think that is going to be my number four at this moment, just because the outfit is so good. And I also think this Erin is so beautiful. I'm excited to see them put together. I think they're gonna look great. I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping it that way, but I think she's gonna look amazing in it and I'm excited to do it. Then fifth, I will actually keep both of these dolls in this order. I'll do Vanessa Perrin 
and then Constance Madison last. And I would like to say with these two, I think the only reason Vanessa is down this far is just because I think these four are serving face so much harder than Vanessa. Vanessa's still pretty and I don't hate her face as much as I didn't like the, um, the one we saw just like out. But I do still feel like their faces are better. Like their their face cards just, they, they hit it so much better. Um, but I love the outfit. I love the outfit and I'm really excited to get my hands on her and move her around, mess with her hair and interested to see if she's gonna be able to like surpass some of these. And then Constance, I love this outfit. Um, just like in my uh, convention video, it reminds me of a Clue character, which is my favorite board game and kind of like the vibes I was hoping for from this convention. Um, I love her so much, she's very beautiful. The only reason she's there is because I don't know how I, if I'm gonna be keeping the doll or not. So I can't put her anywhere but last just because I don't even know if I'm keeping the doll. But the outfit is absolutely one of the strongest of the entire convention to me. So yeah, that is my initial ranking, first impressions, just opening the boxes and looking at the dolls. Uh, my next video, I don't know, it'll probably be an unboxing actually, and then we'll have convention haul part two, because I don't think I'm gonna get the rest of the collection until this weekend, and I'm opening Alejandra on Thursday for my birthday, so I think that's just gonna happen first. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you're all so excited for these unboxings. It is driving me crazy that I don't have anything out of box yet. I mean, okay, I have Dasha, absolutely, but I'm so ready to get my hands on these dolls, but I'm trying to take my time, really appreciate each doll because it's a lot of dolls and I don't want to overdo it too quickly. So videos like this is really like helping me take them in, appreciate them, not rush the process and give every doll its moment in the spotlight, honestly, is a big thing. So yeah, that is it for this video. Like I said, um, there's gonna be a lot of content coming with this Integrity Toy Stilettos Out Convention stuff. I'm really trying to give every doll its moment in the spotlight. I don't wanna rush through this because um, it's a lot of dolls. I'm so excited and you guys don't understand how much I just wanna like go on a crazy unboxing haul and play with all these dolls and pose them, get photos and everything. But I know if I do that, I'm gonna rush through it and then I'm gonna become overwhelmed and I'm not gonna appreciate the dolls as much if I like just take my time and let each doll have its moment to breathe and everything and enjoy each of them, all the details. Then I have so many restyling and redressing ideas and I have a big project coming up. Um, okay, that makes it sound a little extra, but I actually do have two really big projects coming up. One probably not gonna be finished until January, but the other one, it's probably actually gonna be happening in the midst of all these unboxings, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. But yeah, I hope you're all enjoying it. And also, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying it. It really, really does keep me motivated, um, especially at these holiday times where like everybody's got a crazy busy schedule. Everybody has a hundred things going on at once. Like, it's like, I need to sit down. I need to make these videos and like share content with you guys. You enjoy it, I enjoy it, and it shows me like it's worth the effort. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, as always down in the description below, um, you can find my Instagram, which is his.dolls on Instagram. Uh, a lot more photos coming very, very, very soon. I'm getting back into doll photography, which I'm so excited about. Um, and all my other stuff and everything. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Again, I'm just really excited to talk about all these dolls with you all. I hope you are as well. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.